right, cool. So now y'all get to listen to me. Fun times. Um, so, um, okay, so like Derek said earlier, um, it's hard to talk about this stuff, um, but I'm going to do my best, so just uh, bear with me. Um, okay, so um, as most of y'all know, I moved here about two years ago um, from a town in the Dallas area called Mansfield. And it was really hard for me to leave that place because I had family there. They were really good to me. But when we left, um, some people were not so nice to my family. So we just kind of like backed away from them. And we also played them in football, but we beat them. So it's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Um, when you move somewhere or when you move schools or you go to the middle school or you go to the high school or you go to college, like, you meet new people, you have different classes with different people you didn't even know that go to your school. Like, for instance, um, I changed uh, classes over the semester, and I was like, I have no idea you went to this school. Like, no idea. But this girl is, like, really cool and, like, really fun, and I was like, great. Like, I get to spend another year with you. Like, I'm so excited. But... When you're moving and you're going to these different classes and you're seeing new people and what they're wearing, what shoes they have, what hairstyle, like what kind of makeup they're wearing, um, what kind of jacket they have, like hats, like everything. You see everything about this one person and you're like, wow, like I want that. Like I want those shoes. I want that shirt. I want to be like them. Like I want to have her personality. She looks like she has it all together. He looks like he has all the girls. He looks like or she looks like they're like number one in their class like they have the most friends they're the best athlete they have the best grades like I want to be them but in reality like they don't really have it all together like inside <laughs> in the inside they are like falling apart but on the outside they're showing you that like I have it together like I got this like just look at me like I know what I'm doing but if you follow them and then you get really close to them, and you realize, oh, my gosh, like, who am I hanging out with? Like, what's happening? So um, so I moved here. Let's just go back a little bit. So I moved here. I'm seeing these really cool people, really nice people. And I'm like, wow, everyone is so nice here. They shake your hand, like, so mature. Like, wow, really like this place. So I'm really getting it, finding a lot of cool friends. And... I start to realize, like, I'm getting invited to things, like, people like me, like, this is so cool, like, this is easy, and I think I realized, like, I'm getting invited to these things, and then sometimes, like, I wouldn't, so I was like, okay, what's going on, like, this is a joke, like, <laughs> hello, you can't just invite me to one thing and then invite me to this, like, that's not okay, um, but they did, and so whenever you find a friend group, sometimes they'll invite you to this thing, and then they won't invite you to this thing, and then they'll invite you to this thing. It's so hard because you're like, okay, what am I doing wrong? Um, what am I not telling y'all? What am I, am I dressing weird? Do I not wear makeup? Like, for personally, like, I don't wear makeup, but um, that was probably one of the main things. I was like, do I have to wear makeup with these people? Like, what? <laughs> um, do I have to have these certain shoes? Do I have to have these certain clothes? And I talked to my parents, and I was like, what's the deal? Like, I'm getting invited to some things. I'm not getting to invite some things. Like, why do I feel like I have to get invited to everything? And so, like, in this, like, world that we live in, we feel like we have to get invited to certain things. And we have to get invited to the popular stuff or like the thing that's cool or I have to be friends with that person or I have to be friends with this person like but whenever I talk to my parents and I talk to um, my leaders like Addie and Kathy and Corinne and they're like Sydney like it's no big deal like God like chose you to get invited to this thing because he needed you there for a reason and he doesn't want you to be at this place for a reason. Now, some people like to gossip, and some people like to talk bad about other people, and then five seconds later, they will turn around and be like, hey, I love your shirt, and then five seconds later, they're like, dude, I hate that shirt that she's wearing. Like, what is she wearing? But that's the type of thing you'll get invited to. You'll get invited to this thing, 
and you're having a blast, you're having so much fun, and then they don't invite you to this thing because God doesn't want you there. There's a purpose as to why he doesn't want you there. And that took me years to figure out, years. So, I mean, it's not easy, like, at all. It's not. And when you finally figure it out and when you've spent time praying and, like, reading the Bible and, like, like God, like, what am I doing wrong? Like, I still have these feelings sometimes. But whenever you're so secure about yourself and so, like, I got this. Like, I'm Sydney Hume. Like, that's who I am. People can either accept me for who I am or not be friends with me. Like, I have plenty of friends. I don't need any more that are fake. (laughs) So, I mean, you can either, you have to be so secure in yourself and so, like, confident and just, like, walk the halls like, hey, that's me. I just walked in front of that person and act like I did not care. So you have to, you, I mean, you're just confident. Like, that's the main thing. Like, you can't care about what other people think about, which is super hard. Like, let me tell you, it's super hard. Um, but you can. Like, it's, there's a reason as to why God has not placed you to going over to the sleepover or going on a date with this certain guy that you really like or not talking to this girl that you really like or, I mean, there's a reason as to why God is shielding you from that. And you just have to understand that, and it's hard. And if you need anyone to talk to, the leaders are amazing, and they're super supportive, and I can promise you they have gone through something similar, what you're going through right now, and I can always talk to you too. I mean, I'm up for it. Um, but, um, yeah, um, but make sure, and your parents are super cool. Like, I know sometimes they seem a little lame, but I love my parents. Like, I am super close with them. Maybe that's just because I'm an only child, but, I mean, it works. So, um, for real, though, I mean, get close with your parents or your life group leaders or someone because it really helps, and know that you are confident, and you're beautiful, and you're loved by the God, and he is just amazing and I'm gonna end with a prayer and if the band could come up and start playing that would be great okay if everyone would bow their heads with me all right dear God thank you for this wonderful day that you gave us thank you for allowing us to just come to mountaintop and just worship for you and know that we are in your shoes for a reason and you placed us here for a purpose and we're going to follow that through no matter like what it takes and we're going to be with friends who need us and we're just going to talk through it with people who like love us and just understand like what we're going through even though it might be hard and we're going to be there for people even though it may not be convenient for us but it's going to be convenient for them 